what is up guys so what we're going to do today because this is such a trend right now is we're going to be showing you how to do some very intricate techniques when it comes to designing your custom hat patches but what we're going to be doing is showing you how to do knockouts and how to actually put patterns in your patch engravings to really beef up not only the look but just the aesthetic of your patch to make it look really 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 super high end now of course we're doing this based on laser hide products because when this patch is all said and done we're going to be burning this on our thunder nova plus 24 rf 60 watt laser with our laser hide leatherette and adhesive here we go guys let's get into this tutorial and make you a master patch creator all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to give a shout out to ronin headgear and apparel this guy is amazing when it comes to some of the patterns he creates and some of the very intricate patches that he puts out in different groups. What we've done is we've taken his camo dot pattern and we're going to be working with that today. These type of patterns can easily be gotten from like websites like Kittle, Canva. You can easily look at the elements and look for vector graphics of halftones, patterns from hexagons to squares to halftone wave patterns. There's so many grunge patterns, but you definitely want to look at being able to find the vector versions. If not, you can grab the JPEG versions. Say you found some really cool dot patterns and you can use vectorizer.ai. This is going to be in my uh, description. So a link to that. What this website does is for a monthly fee, I think it's like 10 bucks. You can easily vectorize any image in a matter of seconds, modify it to your liking, and then download it as a PDF, PNG, SVG, etc., Illustrator file, and be able to ultimately super quickly have a vector pattern. Now, this is what we do on a, on a daily when it comes to modifying files to be able to import into Lightburn like what you see here. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that now. Let me go ahead and make myself just a little bit bigger. And stick myself way over here. Okay. All right. So let me zoom in on this so you guys can see what's going on. Um, and one thing I'm going to highly recommend, guys, is get in our Laser Hide Patch Makers group. There's going to be a link to that in the description as well. There is where you're going to learn about all of our Laser Hide Leatherette and Adhesive products, new products, new Leatherette co colors which this month, October 25th, somewhere around there, we've got 11 brand new leatherette colors. So here we go, guys. Today, we're going to be working with this camel pattern. Now, we got these camel patterns from Ronin. Support Ronin and the work that he puts out there. He creates custom half tones like this and designs like this. He, he's got a very popular linen pattern out right now, which is basically a dot grid but it's been specially sized to give it a special effect that looks like fabric. Support him by going to his Etsy page and buying seven patch designs and they all come with the different patterns. So these camo dot patterns you see here, and if you look at this image right here, you could see the results of what your patch could look like uh, if you have the right settings dialed in, but very intricate stuff. And this just takes your patches to a whole nother level that most people really aren't doing so support him i'm going to put his etsy link in the description as well or it's already there click on it it's only 10 bucks guys 10 bucks to get seven custom patch designs that are already ready to go just import them into light burn and boom i think it's worth it okay that's what i did that's what a lot of people in our group did to support him but the dude puts in work and you're showing your appreciation by helping him out and purchasing that package so here we go guys this is what we're going to do is we're going to create the patch that we showed you so first thing we're going to do is take our patch okay now you can create any shape you want if you actually go to laser hide in our tool section which is stuff you might need section we have a pdf of a lot of custom shapes almost I think 30 plus shapes that you can get in a PDF file that you can use for your hat patch making. But this is the one that Ronan provided. So what we do in Lightburn is we take this shape, right? So right now this is set as a cut file because that's what this is. And we want to make sure that shape is a path. Now it already is, So, but if not, we convert it to a path. Whenever you do something, always copy a version of it. And if you have to create a section over here, a new section, and just put it name it you know test files or or whatever patch you're creating just name it name it that 
Well, we're going to duplicate everything we got going on here. That way, in the event that we make a mistake, we can either just use or, or uh, we can use the duplicate, or what we can do is reverse. So here we go. We've duplicated all that. All this is good. I'll just duplicate these as well. We just want two sets in the event that we do something that just jacks something up or we sometimes I've gotten to the point where I can go so far into something and I'm like, oh, shoot, I forgot to copy that. And you're like 10 layers into doing something and you'd have to back it all up to do that all over again. You don't want to do that. At times, what you could do is copy everything, highlight it and then import the graphic over here from your project and just name it like patch testing or something. That way you have all that saved. And in the event that something happens, you can just drag that in and you have it. But first thing we want to do is we actually want this right here, creating this shape. And the way we do that is we're going to take whatever patch shape you got, circle, rectangle, hexagon, whatever. We're going to drag it in here. Actually, let's drag that patch shape out. If you click on this, you notice that everything is an individual vector as of right now. What we want to do is we want to highlight all of it and we want to weld it all together. Now it's one compound. Now we're going to do something a little bit different because everybody just takes this direction on the pattern. I'm actually going to take this pattern and put it at a 45 just to be different. Why not? Now we're going to take this and we're going to bring the patch in. And what we want to do here, that looks good is we want to take the patch we want to highlight the red then highlight the black and we want to subtract i think it's subtract let's see here um no that's not it we want to yeah so it'll be the bottom i, I think that's intersection is what that is yeah this is boolean intersection is what we're going to do so this gives us the, the patch shape now, and it's already grouped, so it's already a compound, and there's our patch shape. Now, ultimately, you know, you can create around this shape, and then you can size it to, to whatever patch size you want later. Now we're going to do the knockout. So we want to put this laser hide design inside of this pattern, right? So we want to knock this out, so we're going to copy this again. In case we screw up, we got another one. Now what we've done is we've created a fill of the laser hide, which is here. If we click on that and click outline, we can actually create some type of fill. Let's just say we click on seven here. Don't delete the original object, but we're doing an outward fill, outer shapes only, click that. And then now we can pull this out and we have this fill right here that we would cut out of this shape. But before we do that, what you wanna do is you wanna eliminate any little areas in the inside that are kind of open like this because you just want a solid fill cut out. We're going to click on, actually, let's ungroup this first. So go back to your arrow. Make sure this is ungrouped. Now you can click on this right here. This will give you all your nodes. Highlight the nodes. Delete them. There you go. Now you have a solid fill piece for your laser height here. Now I would change this to a different color for now. Let's just make this red. Actually, let's just make this a burgundy just to kind of differentiate everything you got going on here. Now, if you wanted something more like this, where you have some open areas, you can definitely make your fill a lot lighter, okay? So mess around with that. But for now, this is just, you know, something we're doing. But let me show you real quick. Let's just outline, outline that and make it a little bit less. So if we went down to a four, so to speak, now we have that. If we pull the laser hide out, you see that's what we end up with. So you mess around with your own outline and see kind of what you might want and then go from there. I actually want everything in the inside to be blank. I don't want any dots in the inside of this. So I'm going to take this down and we're going to put this right up in here. And we want to make sure we're centered, centered horizontally. Center that horizontally. Align V center. Okay, we're good there. So now we want to do a cutout. So we want to take this image here. We want to click on the dots, then click on the blue. And we want to do a subtract. So Boolean subtract will now knock that out. Now you're good to go there. Now when you bring this in, you see what you got going on there? You've got a nice setup. And again, we can do that. Align V center. And we are now good to go with our graphic here. So we've got that set up now. 
let's move all this other stuff out the way because this is just all extra content. Now, if you wanted, we'll change that to red. So this would all be the engraved portion. So everything you see here as fill would be engraving. And then anything that's blank, transparent, that's going to be the actual leather material itself or leatherette material. So now what we want to do is we want to create a setup here to where we have an outline. Okay, so earlier this was the exact outline that we had for this particular patch. We want to do this and go, let's just, yeah, center that up. So highlight the dots in the patch. That now perfectly aligns that. Now what we want to do is create an outline. Okay. That's kind of what these are over here. These were outlines that were thicker or, or wider than the actual patch itself. We actually want to click on that and then click outline. And I'd say between four and five is good. Outer shapes only, optimize outward. We don't want to delete the original object, but we're, we're creating an, an kind of a border to that. So what we're going to do now is click this. If we want to bond that to the red and create like a engraved layer around that what we can do is let's marry these two together we're going to weld these two now these are one unit so when you click on it you see both highlight now and if we made that let's just say red now we can bond that to the dots so if we go click on the dots click on the border and we go uh boolean union so this unites two shapes together Okay, that's how you would do this currently. So I want to ungroup this border real quick first. Because what I want to do is now I want to create the outer cut based off the outer shape. So now we're clicking on the outer shape. And again, we're hitting outline. And don't worry about that now because this is going to be changed to black. But we want to go probably, let's just say six on the outside. And click OK. Now when we... If we wanted this look here, we'd actually be good to go. We can do that. And what we can do is if we wanted and like this look, we can replicate this again, but this time go inward. And we would only go like maybe two, actually one. And this one here would now be our cut line. What we're doing is we're slightly cutting into the outer and gray part. So how you would see that is you would take the red and go above the black over here. So take the red, go upward. Now you can see where that black line. So that black line now would cut inside of that engraved area to where it's nice and clean when it's all said and done. And now your dots would become the leather. Your hide here, laser hide logo, graphic, whatever you're using would become all, that would be all the leather part that would be showing. So this would be one version of the patch. And what you do is, is uh, we can go like that, save this one as dark patch, name it whatever you want. But let's just get rid of this one for now. And I'll show you the other version of this. So now if we click on this one, and turn it black as our cut. Now it goes back to your regular setup there. So this is how you would do it guys. And then you would save this one as light patch. It's basically the reverse of what we just saw to where now the dots and the graphic here, the, the logo, that's the part that gets engraved. So two different ways of how you'll see this camo. Now, if we put them side by side, you could see the difference. You've got darker and you've got lighter. So this is kind of how you would do this when it comes to doing knockout areas on your patches to really create some intricate designs. And really, this is where different types of leatherette colors can really, really, really like just blow up and, and show off the design you're trying to do because of, say, for example, you using a neon orange or a neon green or a rawhide material or a black on black look or a or kind of a dark or light gray that engraves black. There's so many options when it comes to this that it'll really give you some areas that are very, very intricate. So this, guys, is how we can work with patterns. So to be able to accomplish this and start out, again, I'm going to say 
go hit up Ronan and, and his Etsy link and buy that. And then you'll be able to instantly get started on making some custom patches and basically improve your game on how you're creating things. Join the channel here, subscribe, and then join our Laser Hide Patchmakers group. Guys, if you really want some of the best leatherette and most affordable leatherette on the market, we are the thickest, we are the strongest, the best adhesive on the market, the lowest temps on our adhesive. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't be using us. We're a company that's here for you guys, the people. So make sure you get in our, our group and check out the, the website, laserhide.com. For now, use the direct link. That'll get you right to the website. But thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. If you got any things you'd like to see, go ahead and post in the comments. But definitely liking this video helps me out a lot, guys, and using our affiliate links as well. And then keep in mind, there's going to be more of these tutorials coming out. So our goal in our Facebook group is to really start educating you guys and training you guys on how to create stunning patches like what you see here that way you can make better money better profits with a better product something that your clients will love till then my name is james i am the owner of laser hide and the creator of essential talk to you later peace out